Hello friends, this is Research Wing. Recently, the President of Tunisia has suspended the Prime Minister and their Parliament. After this announcement by the President of Tunisia, Kais Saeed, the Parliament was suspended and the Prime Minister Hashim Mashishi was dismissed. And the people of Tunisia started celebrating on the streets. <laughs> Tunisian people also burned down the party office of Harkatu al Nahada or Anhada movement, which is inspired from the Muslim Brotherhood, emerged from the Egypt and inspired from the ideology of Rahola Khomeini of Iran. Anhada movement has also been accused of Islamization of Tunisia which is generally claimed to be a secular country. Thousands of Tunisians have marched in, in several cities protesting against the Islamist-inspired Anhada party, criticizing what they said were government failures in Northern African nation and crippling coronavirus rates. Since the presidential election in 2019, President Saeed has been in tussle with Prime Minister Mashishi and the Parliamentary Speaker Rashid Ganoushi. This is a rivalry that has blocked ministerial appointments and diverted resources from tackling Tunisia's many economic and social problems, including coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> Tunisian military also stopped parliament speaker from entering the parliament building. This was perceived by the Tunisian people as military support to their protest. People on street started celebrating along with praising their army and also took photos and selfies with them. A well-known pro-Islamist extremist news media Al Jazeera was stormed by Tunisian police for reporting constantly in favour of and Hada movement and against the president's decision of dismissing the parliament and prime minister. Well, the unrest and uprising are not new for Tunisia. Tunisia was the epicenter of the Arab Spring, also known as Jasmine Revolution, which was started when a fruit seller Mohammed Bouazizi burnt himself alive. He was 26-year-old university graduate Mohamed Bouazizi had been trying to support his mother and siblings by selling fruit and vegetables from a cart on the street. When he didn't pay bribes, town authorities broke it. Family members say they also hit him, spat at him, and insulted him. In despair, he stood on the cart, poured gasoline over his body, and set himself on fire. He hadn't been able to get a government work permit before. His letters to President Zine El Abadine Ben Ali were ignored. But after the self-immolation that left him in intensive care, covered head to toe in bandages, the president actually paid Bouazizi a visit. Here I have also put the speech of President Barack Obama, which is six months post the Arab Spring. And this shows you how the country notorious for regime change was happy with the Arab Spring. There are times in the course of history when the actions of ordinary citizens spark movements for change because they speak to a longing for freedom that has been building up for years. But today this is certainly the moment of celebration for Tunisia. Please like the video and share it with your friends. Also share it on your various social media platforms. Do subscribe the Research Wings channel for more such videos. This will cost you nothing but definitely will motivate us.